Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tim Tim. Last time we went to that island and we... What did we do over there? Oh yeah, that led down to Sareth. The imposter Sareth, it looked like. And I think that's a fight, so I wanted to come over here first and take care of this. That's where we have to go to... Uh, they said we have to find an alternate passage to uh, somewhere, and that's where that leads. Oh yeah, and we also called a platypet and uh, the like level 40 dragon thing, which I was thinking and yeah, the dragon thing's pretty cool, but it's crystal type and we already have a crystal type in Bun Bun and this is mental and toxic, which we don't have either of right now. So I think I'm going to stick with the Doroboros. Just was kind of thinking about it more. You may or may not hear a cat in the background. Because he uh, apparently wants to make himself known. Alright, so here we are. Oh, is this? Hello. Yeah, it is you. You come to me again. First as a castaway of the falling skies and now as a rider of the burning waters. You again. And again we shall meet. But that is a page from another chapter. You are looking for the one who looks like yourself, and without realizing it, you are also looking for yourself. For you and they are two sides of the same coin, or two edges of the same sword. What they have become, you might have been. What you are growing into, they might yet reach. It is not just power or Tim Tim you shall find, but your own change, as a tamer. As a human. What are you even talking about? In time you will understand, for now... Show me how far along the process you are. I shall judge whether you are ready for the next step of your journey. Whoa, really? Okay. You have a Valash. Still don't know how to get one of those. I don't think I've caught one. Well, I mean, I have one because it was given to me, but... I don't know how to get my own, basically. Okay, well... Piranha, we don't want you in here because that is a poison type, so let's bring Bun-Bun in, and you can murder Mastion. I'm going to be just fine. Bun-Bun should resist most of what they have, like that, although well, it's still probably going to hurt. This is a very damaging move, but you're fine. And you, I can just burn. Pyromaniac. Yeah, it's so good that their ability changed that. Oh, you have the ice cube on. Damn it. Jerk has ice cubes. Uh, okay, so... And we can use Stone Ball on you, which should finish you off, in all honesty, or get very close. Not quite enough to kill. And the burn will kill Nidrasil. Unless the ice cube... I don't think the ice cube stops burn too. Yeah, I think it got... I think, think it took the burn damage last time. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, it just takes it at the end of the turn. And Valash is going to get healed a ton because... Man, that scavenger ability is really good. Alright, so... Who do we want in now? We can't throw in a Doroboros because it's mental and this crystal type would mess it up. Let's throw in Gazuma. Oh wait, you're also electric. Um... Well, it would be useful against Sparzy, but... That, that was just a bad call by me. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, we're gonna switch into... Tataru. And you can finish off the Valash. Yeah, that was a bad call. I was like, no, we don't want to send in a mental type because it would get hurt by crystal. But at the same time, so would electric. So. Wow, you damaged yourself a lot. Was it worth it? <laughs> all in all, uh, that one doesn't seem too difficult, though. I mean, they only have four tens. 
and most of them were able to be destroyed by Mastion. The Riken. Hmm. See, now the problem with that is... is that I need somebody else in here. But, let's just... Hmm. I mean, let's just try to beat up on the Sparzy, and then if the Sparzy goes down, then we can bring in Prania. And that's Mastion down. Yeah, that is a pretty powerful attack, so I should have expected that. Looks like Tatsuru might only be able to get off a Fierce Claw, and that's it. And it didn't even hurt Sparzy that much. Okay. Well, I definitely can't send Ador Ador Adoroboros in. That's for sure. Because both of them... Or no, one of them is super effective against it. So... Let's go with you. I could Lullaby here. I don't really think I should, though. I think I'm gonna go with Sand Splatter, too, because... It might do more damage than um, the other tech. That's gonna hurt. If I can just get rid of the stupid Sparzy... Oh, yeah, shit, why did I use a wind attack? Uh, if I can just get rid of the stupid Sparzy, then I can just bring... Uh, Piranian in, and Piranian can handle it. <clears throat> I don't know what the point in inflicting the Doom status was. It's not that useful of a thing to inflict, if I'm going to be honest. Okay, maybe the drill attack will be able to finish it. Okay, so that is ideal because now we can bring in Piraniant and Sparzy has to wait a turn and it also might die here. Never mind, that's gonna kill Kazuma. For sure, yeah. Okay, well, Prideful. Oh, jeez, that's annoying. Okay, so we gotta send these two out, but they're both weak to Sparzy, which we're about to finish off. So this shouldn't be an issue. And you can use Toxic Ink on that Raikou. Oh, okay, just our attack? That's fine. Although, well, attack and speed, but... Speed's not as important, either. No way it lived. How tanky is that stupid thing? Why? Why is it so damn tanky? Just die, you asshole. <laughs> It's probably going to use the uh, electric attack again and annihilate us. Ah, uh, that is annoying. Oh wait, no, they use psychosis. Okay, that's fine. Feel free. I mean, I don't, I don't think the battle's going to last four more turns. If I'm going to be honest with you. There we go. That thing is so was so hard to kill. I mean, I know it was a lot of levels higher than us, but still. Okay, and you're just gonna die now. Goodbye. Fire tornado all you want, it's not gonna help. I mean, you'll hurt Adoroboros a lot, but... Adoroboros is on borrowed time already, so it doesn't really matter. And you're knocked out. There we go. And Adoroboros leveled up. A. Hey. You don't disappoint, Seraph. 1446. A baby step, but a step forward nonetheless. Very well. You have already met others. Good. Loyal friends who shall stand by you when the darkest hour comes. Do well by them. Some way to the east, evil men guard an icon taken from a further, former brother in arms. It is an old trinket. Valueless, yet priceless to an old man whose heart aches for the departed. Obtain it and return it to the heartbroken man. Earn your friend's freedom. You shall need all your friend's help sooner than you think. And now, I bid you farewell. We shall meet on another island to fight one crucial day, you and me and the other three. Huh. Interesting. So, smoke bomb? I guess I could have just Tumescence filed, but this gets me back across the water anyway, so I would rather just do this. Okay. So, we did pretty well in that fight. Pretty happy with this team. We got a good mixture of typing going on. There was one thing I wanted to do, so... What? 
so you have toxic ink. Uh, that's a physical attack, and your physical attack sucks. So we should probably want to get rid of that. So let's see. We have Noxious Bomb still that we can teach it. Let's see. Yeah, Noxious Bomb. And you can learn it. It takes 20 instead of the 16 that Toxic Ink takes, and it doesn't actually poison them, but... What does this do? Exhaust the target. Does a bunch of damage. He's a combination with the Nature Ally. Energy manipulation does additional damage and exhausts for two turns. Noxious fumes, almost unheard of. Them. They poison the whole team for two turns. Honestly, that doesn't seem like too useful in an ability. I think I'm just gonna get rid of pollution. It poisons them for two turns, but Toxic Ink already does that. Just on one target instead of two, so it really doesn't seem like it's worth that stamina cost. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We can always take it back if uh, we want to. That is a really handy feature in this game. Like, you can just relearn moves on your own. You don't have to go to a move relearner or anything. I kind of love that. Alright, Saipat, we uh, we don't have time for you. Alright, so if you would kindly quack off. Thank you. Uh, map. Yeah, we're right here and to the right a bit. Just want to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Get in there. There we go. Whew. So there's no telling how hard this fight is going to be. But we'll see, I guess. Alright, so we gotta... I wonder what Tim Tim I can catch in this water. There it is. General X will be pleased. What's that noise? Hey, who goes there? What the... Sarath? Oh. It's Max. What a jerk. You're an asshole. <laughs> M Max? What are you doing here? I thought I had stalled for a while. Bah, the two Mani are such pushovers. Guess you can't count on them to do your dirty work for too long. Doesn't matter, I'm almost done in this heap of ashes, and now to pick up this package for the boss and on to bigger things. But first, I'll give you another good spanking, Sarath. Oh boy, do I like my... That sounds suggestive, and I don't like it. Ugh. Max. Oh man, it's that thing. Ugh, it's disgusting. Hmm. This is quite an awkward matchup. Oh. Gonki is the only one that has abilities that would be useful against that Goulder. Um, I cannot keep Piranha in because Piranha will be annihilated by the Goulder. Also, Mast Mastion's probably going to get beat up by that Mudrid. Hmm. Well, if I put in Bun Bun, there's also the chance Bun Bun would get beat up. Gazma would once again get beat up uh, by the Mudrid. Is I don't think Mental was good against Toxic. Hmm. And it would resist the Toxic, but it would be weak to Madrid if Madrid had a uh, Crystal attack. Honestly, I feel like the best one to kind of pull in here is Tataru, possibly? Hmm. Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's not much... Hmm. Because water, water and Toxic wouldn't do anything, because I was like, well, I could wait for Head Charge and use that on my second turn against that Mudrid, but... That's not going to be good either. Let's just switch to Tataru with you... And with you, let's just try to get rid of the Mudrid, maybe? I can't remember if it's actually going to do... I think it's going to do neutral damage, because it's super effective on one end and resist on the other end. Which she'll... Yeah, that should be pretty good damage. Okay. 
And what are you going to use? Ow. And yeah, you of course use Toxic Ink on uh, Piranians. Okay, I think we're faster than that Mudrid. So if I use Embers again, with Fierce Claw from Tataru, we should be able to kill it this round. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That was a lot of my problems right there. Taken out because that Earth type. Okay, yeah, that's gonna kill. Oh well, Mastione, you did your job. Or Mastione. Alright, Goulder. Um, Gazuma can work on you now. And you have a Barnge. And it's a shiny one at that. Well, we want to get you out of here for sure. Let's bring in Adoroboros. And... I could just DC beam the Barnch. I think I am. Because the Goulder, I don't think is going to be mu as much of a problem as that Barnch is. So let's just go ahead and get that out of here now. Yeah, I didn't think it would one hit, but... There was a chance. Ow. Yeah, that hurt a bit. Okay, so... I could Beta Burst. Energy Manipulation nature ally. I don't even have one of those anymore, so... Let's just DC beam the Barnch again to finish it off. There we go. Alright, Max, things aren't looking too good. Of course, you still have that digital asshole that you're gonna bring out, and... is honestly just incredibly terrifying. Because it... It just... It's super effective against everything. So... It's spooky. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Alright, um... Well, I think... Poisoning it would be useful, but I think Beta Burst might just be better. So let's do that, and then let's do Electric Storm with Gazuma. We just need to get down as much damage as we can, quickly. Before he just kills everything. Oh wait, Electricity is good against it? I didn't know that. That's useful. Yeah, unfortunate, but... And Goulder has to get some rest. Ooh. This is potentially fortuitous. We might be able to take this thing out pretty quickly. I don't think I ever found out before that electricity was good against this thing, or if I did, I forgot, because... Shocker, we don't really run into a lot of... Digital Tim Tim. Uh... Let's see, I could have Gazuma use another Electric Storm, but then it would die. But I'm not sure if DC Beam would actually finish this thing off. Let's just go for a DC Beam. And then, uh, Fierce Claw... Oh no. I don't think Fierce Claw is gonna finish it. Okay, never mind. Tatru, you're a monster. I love you. Alright, you're gonna Toxic Ink Tatru, but Tatru does not care. Okay, Psypat. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so... Let's... Let's kind of focus on that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice Gazuma here just to get an electric storm off. Because it's, it's not much longer for this world anyway. And this may be the key we need to killing Psypat this round. Although I don't think Tatru's gonna do that much damage. Psypat's pretty tanky, yeah. Sadly. Looks like Tatru might go down here too, from the poison. But at least that knocked itself out. Saipat had to rest. Wait, why did Saipat have to rest? Okay, so, whoop. Piranians and Bun Bun. And you have a, ooh. That's no good. Well, you can Noxious Bomb that, and you can Stone Ball the Gazuma. Ah, but it's just going to do normal damage. Crystal Dust will do super effective damage, though. So take that. It was just going to do normal damage, I'm pretty sure, because Wind Resists... Ow. 
Oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. And it actually went before Psypat. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was bad. Um, so now we just have to last out this Gazuma. Which... If it does another of the lightning attacks, I'm not sure we'd be able to do. I'm gonna Balm Piranian, because it, honestly, it took that Chain Lightning pretty well, so... Wait, did it? Did Gazuma not go? Did it- did it not take a turn? Am I crazy? Tank it. Ooh. Okay. There we go, Piranian. You're a big tanky boy, and you do not care about electric attacks. Boom. I should put that lightning rod on you. I don't know what your current hold item is, but... Bah, I just let you have the upper hand for once. It'll just make it better next time I kick your ass. Thanks for the money, nerd. My job here is done anyway. The clan will prevail. You can't even show your face in Quetzal anymore, and all the time you've wasted here in Tukma. You are already late for Kisiwa. General X is already on his way. Nothing you can do about it. Enjoy your victory, loser. Gosh, he's, an, he's obnoxious. At least Gary was cool. But <laughs> Max isn't even cool. <laughs> Max is just an annoying asshole. Okay, so what is what is your hold item? Oh, you just have the four-leaf clover. Okay, no. We're taking that off. Yeah, we need to put that on you. I should have had that on you a long time ago, but I was like, ah, he already has an item. Shun's horn. Changes the Temtem's toxic type techniques to water? Weird. It looks very ancient. Maybe fashioned from the discarded horn of some prehistoric Temtem? There must be a reason for it to be here. I see some sort of clockwork here. Perhaps it, perhaps it activates some mechanism? I should take a look around. Um... How big is this area? Oh, okay, it leads... It leads to places. Got it. Alright, well, around we go. We've already caught the Tim Tim you can catch here, which is... That supposedly prehistoric Tim Tim that you're talking about. I don't really have a need for, uh, you, Ukama. Goodbye. Oh no, we failed both attempts. Well, bye-bye, Mastion. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What can you do? I could put the decoy on somebody in the front, but I like Mastion having that water chip. Get out there, Adoroboros, I guess. Just long enough to run away. Or fly away in your case. There we go. At least you can't fail two times in a row, it seems, in Tim Tim. I've never failed twice in a row. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Go away. I don't want to fight you. And I didn't want to use a super scent for this little bit of water. But I guess we are heading right back into the cave anyway, so maybe I should have used one. Let me out of here. Jeez. And I used my Tumescence file as well. That guy's still wearing the Belsalto gear. Interesting. So I imagine we need to- yeah, we need to go open that door. Alright, well I am gonna use- oh, I have six super cents. I thought I only had one left. I must have bought some more. Alright, well... We could get all the way down to the water. I don't see much reason to do that yet. I think we just need to focus on going to go open that door. First and foremost, because that would allow us to get back to, uh, Tukma as well. These people are running into Tim Tim, it looks like. Alrighty. Well, now we have a fast way back to Tukma, and this guy's gonna be amazed that I opened his door. It's in perfectly. Voila, and it's open. I should report back to the Guildmaster of the Smiths. I hope they can help repair the narwhal now. What? You opened the ancient gates? How'd you do that? With the power of love. What? What? The answer to a riddle was that cheesy? <laughs> just just completely mess up that guy's dream. Alright, so... 
yeah, Smith Masters, but I I want to go hit the Temporium first. I mean, who knows? If Bug Fables taught me anything, you should never go into, like, a story section unprepared. Because there's that one quest in Bug Fables where I just, like, it was a side quest where I just had to go to this inn, and I walked into the inn, and this lady tried to kill me. So, yeah, I'm not... I'm not taking any chances. What if General X is just at the Smith's Guild? Alright. Oh wait, this is the wrong way. See, this is why I periodically look at the map. Because some of these, some of these areas, I just, I do not have them in my head. And yeah, that just leads back out there. So the Smith's, yeah, it was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're back. But the good news precedes you. The Miner's Guild has resumed work on the mother load. They say we're getting our first load of iron today. I did it, I reopened the mines. Both guilds owe you a great debt of gratitude, Sereth. We will repair that airship free of charge. I'll let my artisans know that we have ore and gems to work with. How long... How I long to hear the forges roar again, the hammers sing over smoldering metal. Mm. Less poetry, more metallurgy. Captain Teray? No, I'm the Shogun of Sabhanku. What? I was thinking- I was starting to think you deserted us. What the down below took you so long? Well, I... You had one job, Sarath. Guildmaster, how long will that take? The narwhal should already be in Kisiwa. What exactly do you need? How's your structural integrity? Critical damage to the secondary beam, severe damage to the gondola and one of the engines. And most of the canopy is okay, and the trestle frame survived the crash. Spare secondary beams and gondola modules, then. An uh, auxiliary engine. Standard tools for the rest. We can handle that. I'll need your engineer for the exact specs. She's wounded, but I know them by heart. Well, what are you doing just standing there, Sarath? I'll stay here and handle the repairs. You go tend to the other mm. tasks. Sarath, where is One-Eyed Matthew? Weren't you two together? It's a long story. He... Cut it short, then. He's in jail. What? Why? He... I said cut it short. Would you, if you gave me a chance to speak, you would understand all of the problems that are happening right now, but instead you're just trying to, you're just being an asshole. I, this is not about you, Sarath. Get to that prison and free my first officer quickly. You, you don't talk back to your captain, Sarath, and you don't leave a comrade behind. Okay, well then why did you send a child into a city by himself to find, you know what, never mind. Go free one-eyed Matthew now. The narwhal can't sit can't sail without its first officer. Why can't you assholes ever get off your ass and do something? <laughs> okay, so we gotta go free one-eyed Matthew. Which it doesn't actually have a quest marker for us, but I, you know, know where he's at. Would suck for somebody that came back uh, after not playing for a while. Although I guess they could just find the prison and kind of intuit what to do from there. Every minute you waste is a minute your friend behind bars. Wait, did we not find the... Did we not find the item we were looking for for him? Let's see, do I have a... Yeah, we don't actually have like a full journal. Like quest log. Mm, get the prison key from the off-duty smith. Find the renegade guards and... Oh, free Matthew. Find the renegade guards in an island in Zolot. Okay, so that's what we have to do. So they're in the Zolot Reservoir, so we gotta go over there. Okay, so it looks like that's what we're gonna be doing next time. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off, as we have been going for quite a bit. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.